Hurricanes Orange is definitely the worst. I lost almost 100% of my crop. There were businesses that were on the river here that are no longer, they were just wiped out. Eastern oyster farming is a multi-million dollar industry, but it's vulnerable to the whims of mother nature. Oysters rely on relatively consistent environmental conditions like water temperature and salinity. Right here where we are, it's about 30 to 32 parts per thousand salinity. If the water salinity drops too quickly, it stresses them. And if it's too much too soon, it will stress them to the point where they'll all die. So droughts and major storms like hurricanes can throw off the balance of saltwater and freshwater. The ocean is about a mile that way. It seems to take the biggest beating whenever there's excessive high tides or really heavy winds. And when oyster farms use floating systems like these, even the water level can be a problem. On the ends of the lines, the two outer cages are pulled down slightly. The really high tides put a lot of pressure on the ends of the lines and they're held into the water by these screws. And if enough pressure is applied over a long enough period of time, they'll eventually pull out uh, and then our gear will just take off and go up river or down river out to the ocean. Unfortunately, there's no simple answer right now about how to protect oysters from storms. But you know, these aren't just a delicacy or a luxury food. They're a vital part of marine ecosystems. Oysters are a keystone species which means that many other creatures depend on them for their survival. They help with mitigating erosion. Oyster reefs help maintain shoreline and they're using old oyster shells to rebuild what they call living shoreline to help mitigate erosion and, um, from storms and runoff. But wait, there's more. They're not just good for the environment, they're good for us too. High in protein, high in omega-3s, high in selenium, zinc, all kinds of micronutrients. Oysters are a superfood. Personally, I'm partial to any oysters prepared by my uncle, a chef in Wilmington who gets some of the oysters for his restaurant from Holdfast. But if you're new to the oyster game, here's some input from an expert. If you go to a restaurant that really specializes in oysters, they typically have a hot sauce that they make in-house, and that's my second favorite other than just eating it with nothing on it.